Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be showing you how to add the like and favorite features to your Webflow project. Now Webflow doesn't have this built in by default, so we're gonna to have to use a third party plugin in order to pull this off. You can add this to e-commerce collections or you can add it to regular CMS collections. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how I built this and how you can also replicate something similar on your Webflow project. Okay, so this is gonna be the page that we'll be adding a like button to. This is gonna be e-commerce products, but you can do this with uh, CMS, regular CMS products as well. So maybe it's just like blog posts or job listings, whatever the case is, you should be able to do it uh, with this plugin that we'll be using. And the plugin we'll be using to achieve this is a plugin called JetBoost. Uh, Jetboost is a free to use tool um, up until you publish your website and make it go live then you would have to actually pay for it. So what you need to do is you need to first connect your Webflow account with Jetboost and once you create your account you just click this uh, reconnect with Webflow or you might just see a regular connection and then you see your site that you'll be importing. The site I have is called like slash favorite demo. And once you're here, all you do is you click Add Booster, and these are the upgrades that JetBoost can actually give to your website. You can do things like real-time search, dynamic sorting, um, you know, CMS lightboxes, and of course the one we'll be featuring today is the favorite CMS items. So once you have that selected, click Create, and then it's gonna run you through, run you through this five-step process on how to actually get the uh, like slash favoriting feature working. So we'll go ahead and run through this together because it can be a little confusing, especially if it's your first time doing it. So the first step you need to do is you need to decide what are you gonna be favoriting. And in our case, we're gonna be doing products. If you have just like a regular collection list, go ahead and select that list. Um, and then the next step, what you need to do is which field should store the total number of times an item has been favorited. So here um, I created this uh, custom field in the products uh, settings. I went ahead and created this custom field called favorites and this is just gonna store the total number of times someone favorited that product or collection item. So you can call it whatever you want but it is recommended to collect this just to, so you can see what's actually popular and what people are liking. So go ahead and call it something like favorites or likes, whatever you prefer. And then the next step, what you'll be doing is selecting whether you're using a membership platform. And for us, we're not using one, so we'll click continue. Okay, so this first option shows you how to set up a like button on the product page, the single listing page, collection page, or if you wanna use the like feature on just the uh, list item like collection. So in this case, we're gonna have one, sh we're gonna have the like button showing up multiple times on all of these products. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna add this class to the collection list item. So the way we do that is we copy it, we go to the um, editor, we select our collection list, go to the very top collection item, and paste that class right there. And then that's gonna be our first step done. The second step is we need to add an embed code inside of the uh, collection product. So we go ahead and click inside of here, we add an embed code. There's a little snippet called embed, and then we paste that code in. And the way you get the embed code, if uh, I just clicked Command K on my keyboard and typed in embed, that's like the shortcut. But if you don't wanna do that, you can just go ahead and click the elements button, A on your keyboard, and then scroll down to the um, embed code, and then you can just drag it into here. And you want it to be the first uh, item inside of the uh, collection product. So we'll go ahead and click settings and make sure you have this URL selected into there. Next, what we need to do is create the actual favor button and we're gonna need to create a div that wraps it all together like this. This is kind of a quick screenshot that shows what it needs to look like. The only thing you need to have is this main div right here, the first uh, line of text here, and then these two second ones. Item is favorite and item is not favorite. These are just class names that JetBoost uses to identify whether something is favorited or not. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and copy this thing this class and what we'll do is we'll add the button in here and what we'll do is we'll create a div inside of here 
Uh, you can place it anywhere you want. I'll go ahead and leave mine at the bottom here. And basically, we're gonna give this the class name of the JetBoost toggle favorite, K-E-D-W. My, my class name might be different, this K-E-D-W part. Yours, uh, make sure you copy the one that's exactly uh, how it shows on your JetBoost dashboard because you can see even they have like a different number. They have 9-O-N-B. So make sure yours is like this bit here inside of this bo copy box here. So next what we need to do is we need to expand this just to see the example. And we need to have the first two, which is item is not favorited and item is favorited. This is gonna be the different states that JetBoost has. So you can go ahead and copy the class here. Item is not favorite. And we're gonna go inside of this div we just created, create another div. And you can see now we have two divs, one, two. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and the first div inside of here, we're gonna give it the first class name, item is not favorite. And then the second one, item is favorite. So now we have two of these class names. And then inside of here, we need to add some sort of button. And this is kind of where the styling comes in. I'm not really gonna style this on, the, on this video, but we'll just say, uh, like and then I'll just copy this button to speed things up and then I'll say unlike and you can see the structure of my HTML over here on the side um, here's what this looks like so we have our main parent JetBoost toggle favorite with the four letter unique uh, code and then inside here we have item is favorite and item is not favorite and you can style these to be like a heart one is filled one is outlined however you prefer so now let's go back and we're going to go ahead and do a test and the way we do that is we're going to publish it first so JetBoost can detect this and then once you have all of these steps completed you can go ahead and preview it by clicking next on the page you want you can enter the URL in there and then it'll show your products and you can click like and you can see it says unlike and then you can toggle between the different um, states of the item. So you, this may or may not work if you don't click finish. So once you actually apply all of these steps, there's the detailed instructions here, go ahead and do the final check and then click finish. And then it's gonna start working because uh, I did get stuck at one point, I didn't click finish, like get to this step and it wasn't working until I got to this step. So make sure you actually do that. So we have the site this far, but what happens when we click on a product? So we have this teddy bear here, but we don't see a like button here. We need to go ahead and actually add one. So in order to do that, we need to go to the favorite button part over here. And we need to add um, right here, the part where it says create the favorite button. And it says create the div for the favorite button. So this is kind of like the same steps as we did before as, um, as over here. So we can go ahead and copy and paste this if we want and I'll do that just for the sake of speeding things up. So I'll go ahead and copy this bit where it shows how your favorite button needs to be nested. I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna go inside of the product template page and I guess I'll just paste this in right next to these other buttons here. I know this isn't gonna look good but this is just for the sake of this demo. So now if we go ahead and publish this, in theory, it should start working because these this is the code that they suggest we use. So let's go ahead and click on a product. And we can see the teddy bear is like and unlike. So if I go back, you can see the teddy bear is on unlike mode. Happy flower is unlike. So let's go ahead and click that. Happy flower, unlike, there we go. Okay, so now we have the like and unlike working, but how do we see like a list of all of the stuff that's liked. Uh, we need to create a separate page for that. So in order to do that, um, I went ahead and created a page called likes. You can do this how you want. And I just go ahead, I went ahead and copy and pasted uh, my old CMS collection into, or my old list of car uh, products into here. So there's no functionality here right now. So we're gonna go ahead and add that functionality. So if we go back to, um, jet boost we go to power ups you can see right here uh favorites list so if we click this 
this power up just shows how to actually display all of our previous favorites. So here it says create a div for the favorites list. Um, so add this div block to your page and then uh, this can be used on the same page as your favorites button. So in essence, basically what we're doing is we're gonna copy this div. We're gonna go to our Webflow over here and we're gonna wrap our collection here with that div. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new div. Here's our collection. I'm gonna wrap the collection inside of this div and this div is gonna get a class name of JetBoost Favorites List and then now our collection is inside of there. So next, what JetBoost is telling me is that we also need to have that little embed code in here. So I believe I already have that because I copy and pasted it, but in case you wanna know what that is, that's this little bit where there's the embed code inside of your first product, and you'll know exactly what that is if you followed along with the previous steps of this video. It's this little embed code here. And there's all these detailed instructions that really go over this if you do get lost at one point. And then uh, that should be it. I think we can go ahead and publish this and see what this actually uh, looks like. So I called this page the likes page. So let's go ahead and, um, oh, one more thing. I do wanna add the like and unlike feature buttons here. So let's go to our catalog here. Let's copy this bit the our like and unlike buttons and we already have the classes attached here so it should be working out of the box um and then if we go to our likes page i'm just going to go ahead and paste this into here and you can see we have our like and unlike so now let's go ahead and publish this and let's see if this actually works so let's launch it and yeah there we go this is our likes page you can see that the teddy bear is liked we click on the teddy bear you know we have the unlike button so i'm going to go ahead and unlike it and you can see now it's removed from here um it's a bit glitchy just because of the css styling but yeah it, it normally doesn't do this all right so that is a quick demo on how to use JetBoost's plugin in order to get likes and favoriting functionality working on our Webflow project. Again, this works with e-commerce products as well as regular collection products. This could be blog posts, job listings, whatever you want, you can make it likable and then add it to a list anywhere on your Webflow project. If you are interested in trying this tool out, go ahead and use my link down in the description and comments below for the best price available. So with that being said, go ahead and like this video it was helpful and let me know if you had any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.